Hello, we are going to go over quickly just what exactly this Microsoft Exchange server hack looks like, how it works, and so let's just dig right into it. So we've got a CVSS score of 9.1 for CVE 2021. 26855. What this is is a SSRF vuln, which is a server-side request forgery. It allows an attacker to craft an HTTP request, which is then sent along, and the server is uh, essentially when listening over 443, which would be something like this, right? So you go to your normal like mail.company.com, and you see something like this, or they they can load into the like admin uh, panel and uh, the, so that's the ECP I believe it is essentially what the attacker does so is they fling some stuff over 443 which I believe uh, a typical attack you'll see cookies um, and and so inside of cookies for example you might see just some weird stuff but anyway to actually execute this attack the attacker, no matter what, needs to be able to have access to port 443 for your exchange server. From there, they are able to, uh, they, they can uh, initiate an insecure deserialization vuln, which that allows code execution running at the system level. Now, this it is seriously bad, but it does require authentication, which back to this point allows for that. So this needs this typically or stolen credentials. And then with this, you still need to have your, your exchange server public facing. And then the post authentication uh, allows for uh, writing, writing to paths. And then this allows for writing to paths. So so pretty much all, all four of these tie in together to uh, to create really bad pwnage. But the, the key piece here to know is that you do need a mail exchange um, running on port 443, which looks like this. So if you have any traffic inside of your domain where it says OWA or you have just any, any public facing Outlook login through an exchange, you are at risk of being pwned. You, you already probably are pwned, actually. So in that case, if you are pwned, then uh, can consider taking the next steps to, uh, to figure out how, where, and, and remediation. Now, there is a tool. Well, you can use just Microsoft Defender straight up. Alternatively, there is a tool called uh, Microsoft Safety Scanner, and so if you just type MSERT into Google and search around, you'll find it. But uh, the uh, the vulnerabilities here, these uh, these CVEs have been getting uh, get completely blasted, and it's just really really not a good time for anybody running some uh, some public facing uh, mail exchange through. Uh, through 443 public facing, you don't want that. It's just not a good sign. <clears throat> you're uh, you're probably pwned, is what I'm saying. If you're running uh, Microsoft Exchange on port 443, so patch your crap. Go get a bunch of IOCs. Go threat hunting. Figure it out. Get your stuff handled because the the attackers probably got you. If uh, if you're listening on 443 with uh, with Microsoft Exchange server someone probably system executed on your stuff. So that's it. Figure it out. Have fun. If you have any questions or you want help, shoot uh, shoot me a comment down below. I'm happy to help you. I can can try to provide you a, a list of the, the top IOCs that I have. Um, keep in mind, though, I'm only going to be providing public intel, public information that I've obtained uh, through through personal uh, public sources. So I, I do also have some proprietary confidential IOCs that I am not going to share I, because I can't um, NDA stuff. But <clears throat> anyway, yep, have a good day and hopefully you're not pwned.